Hey y'all and welcome back with another live. I hope everybody's okay today, enjoying their day. And if you celebrate anything, mm, mm, mm. make sure you're not drinking that Sir Rock, okay, from P. Diddy. Cause that Sir Rock has gotten him and other people in trouble. Okay, now you know in the news we've been talking about P. Diddy, right? P. Diddy, 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 P. Already in enough civil suit. You know, he a billionaire anyway, so he ain't got nothing but money. But he's in a civil suit right now, you know, um, with everybody, I guess. <laughs> everybody who want to sue him, just sue him. Okay, because he, he, he's a billionaire. But look, we want to get, I want to give a shout out, first of all, to uh, uh, TMZ, because they have a, uh, I trust them, and they have, uh, information about Diddy, Diddy's son. The son who, who look just like him. Young man, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm going to let them talk about it. But Diddy's son, King Combs, sued for S assault during 2022. He was on a yak uh, party. And he kept Kept, 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 kept messing with this girl. So to me, if you keep doing certain things to a certain girl and you know, PD to have girls around them and, and, and I think if you're going to have girls around you who you, you know, what kind of, yeah, you was on, you know, that's your thing and you know what you do, P. Diddy, and you know, you need to have some con con kind of control uh, what? And you know folks to me, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But listen to this. Listen to this. Like I said, uh, shout out to TMZ. Diddy's son, Christian, a.k.a. King Combs, is now being sued, just like his father is. Uh, a woman filed a lawsuit against King, alleging that in late 2022, right before New Year's Eve, King assaulted her on a yacht, specifically sexually assaulted there was a party going on she was working it and she claims that he started to hone in on her groping her trying to kiss her she claims that she tried pushing him off of him telling her that she didn't want it and she claims that he continued pressing on and pressing on in her lawsuit she actually claims to have audio recordings of this and she includes transcripts of all of this and in the transcripts if they're believed to be true they do in fact show her trying to tell christian hey leave me alone i don't want this leave me alone Eventually, she claimed she got away from Christian. He kept hounding her. He told her, hey, take me to a place I can sleep on the yacht. She took him to a theater room, and this woman claims that's when he continued to try and sexually assault her, trying to force her to give him oral sex. Why would you even take him? Why would you even take him somewhere? And if he's doing that to you, that would be even worse. sex somebody eventually came in she claims and interrupted the whole thing and she was able to escape it uh but she also claims that she might have been drugged that night because there was alcohol going around she suspects it might have been spiked uh and this is kind of similar in nature to the lawsuit that diddy is facing from from one rodney jones and interestingly rodney jones is actually crucial to this lawsuit as well this woman is claiming that rodney jones was on board that night and that the audio recordings she says she has she got from Rodney Jones because apparently he was recording at the time. The woman suing Christian Combs is actually being represented by the same lawyer that Rodney Jones has. And we should note about this lawyer, he is actually facing a little bit of a hearing in New York right now. Basically, there's a judge that's looking into whether he has filed frivolous lawsuits that are meritless. So he's kind of in legal hot water there, separate from this whole case. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, Diddy and his team have... It says right here, Diddy attorney Aaron Adiger tells TMZ, we have not seen this woman claim, but I'm sure we can expect the same kind of manufacture uh, uh, lies uh, we come to uh, expect from Tyrone Blackburn and his clients. Just as we saw in Rodney Jones' lawsuit, which has yet to be served, 
he adds, they learn about the lawsuit the same way anyone hears about Mr. Blackburn's filings through the media. What? <laughs> Come on. Y'all, it's not getting no better. It's not getting any better. It's getting worse and worse for P. Daddy. P. Diddy. P. Diddy. P. Diddy. But y'all got to realize that he he is, uh, this is a civil claim. You know, this is a civil claim. And he may be working it out. He ain't worried about nothing. He on his bicycle. Him and, uh, him and, uh, uh, What's his buddy name? I try to not remember these folks' name because I don't have to. But uh, hold on for a minute, y'all. The man went with Jocelyn. I can't think of no name. Can't think. And y'all look. And people looking at him, people looking at him right there. <sighs> Worker came out and said that was him and not Stevie J. But in order for them to put that in there, they must have clearly thought it was Stevie J or think it's Stevie J. But you got to get this art. Right, check this out. He knew that this kid admired Stevie J and loved the work Stevie J had done in the industry in the past. This kid looked up to Stevie J. Now, what if Puff told him that that was Stevie J in the tape? That's right. And the kid, the guy looked like Stevie J. He did facial, uh, they, his face, he did facial, his face was fixed like he was doing some of the faces Stevie J be making, mm -hmm. you understand? So now, the kid could have been drunk, kid could have been high. He was like, yo, Puff could have been like, yo, you talking about, this is somebody you admire? Look what he doing. This Stevie J right here. But that is true, yeah. though, seeing, you know, that that, that is true. Um, you know, no telling what, if the person intoxicated, you can tell them anything. But uh, I don't know what to say about these people. I don't know what to say, but I don't think nothing's gonna happen to. Let's let's let's, let's listen to let's listen to Stevie. He on he's speaking on TMZ. Okay, he's speaking on TMZ. TMZ. And he taken up for his brother. That's his brother. That's that's let him call him. That's his brother. And he said that uh, he was sitting at home in Miami when they knocked on the door. But listen to what he said right here, y'all. You know, Steve is a pimp. No, that's allegedly y'all. You know, we know Steven. Whatever someone does in their bedroom, that's what they do. I don't got nothing to do with that. I'm just here to say that I've never seen my man doing anything foul like they talking about. None of it. Steve. Steve. Well, you know he's supposed to take out for his brother. Come on. What y'all think he gonna tell the truth? You think... You think he gonna tell the truth, but listen to this. So uh TMZ, they went on and asked Stevie questions. And he even was talking about 50 cents, but listen to this. Uh hold on. I was like like 50. You know what I'm saying? Like Uncle Tom cast like that. 
know what I'm saying? It's like, you now you want to put me, I don't know if y'all saw the post on 50 posted about me, of course you guys. Yeah, yeah. You know. Steven Miss Akatana. <laughs> Stevie, Stevie, Stevie. Uncle, Uncle Tom. Come on, man. This is not about Uncle Tom or nothing like that. This is about your brother. What's under the rug? I, I don't see anybody um, um, reporting about what um, tatted up Holly said about him beating her up and about, you know what I'm saying, his other baby mom said beating her up. I just look at it as, you know. He, he was talking, he talking about, uh, Why don't you go make some movies with Michael Blackson? And don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you, Steve is just funny to me. Steve always been funny to me. I'm not concerned. This is Curtis. I mean, this dude Curtis. You know what I'm saying? He's Uncle Tom, and that's just what it is. I'm a... I don't want to hear that. He talked kind to me, Uncle Tom. door and I heard a big boom. Now mind you, before we get into this, I'm 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 not a spring chicken even though I look fly and you know, stuff. But I've witnessed some historical events of of excessive force, but none like this since um Saddam Hussein or El Chapo or Pablo Escobar even. Even Osama bin Laden, I heard a big boom. So I'm thinking like, you know, a lot of people do work on the island all day long, so I'm figuring someone drops the materials. Heard it again. Turn my head, I'm hearing do 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 <laughs> armor vehicles. Three big armored vehicles come. Dudes jump out, I got fifty dots on my shirt. Screaming, yo, get on the f ground. I'm like, yo, really? I'm the only one here. Took me outside, I asked to speak to the higher ups, Axe was under arrest. And they said, no, you're being detained. I want to speak to the higher ups. Spoke to the higher ups. Um, I said, am I under arrest? They said, no, you're not. Let me let you go. Boom. Let me go check your bags. You don't have any weapons and all. I'm like, I don't have any weapons. Stevie, what did they... I don't want to... Um... I know what to say. If you did something wrong, you did something wrong. Like a bag, a bag of uh, one bag. Well, did did they take? They didn't take nothing, but you tell me, come on, Stephen. They went in the house and this tape took one bag. You don't know what they took out of there because they put you out the house. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. <clears throat> I just don't know what to say. I don't think nothing going My personal opinion about this situation is nothing going to happen to... Uh, not, I don't think nothing going to happen to uh, Diddy. Diddy. Diddy is a billionaire. Now, I've seen Mafia King... Been locked up before, <laughs> and they are billionaires. So y'all put down in a come in, you know, session, you know, what y'all think? It's not about this situation here. <coughs> Has gotten out of hand with uh, P Diddy, but you got to realize once you're in in the news, you're in the news, okay, regardless of who you are. But uh, Nancy's son. Who else? I'm out, y'all.